Lotus here, Pines, and our friends and family there in Hookers, California. This is a quick update for all of you who know us. And if you don't know who we are, we, we are, are the Brookses. Brookses. Missionaries, teachers, advocates, and baristas. Right now we're at the Youth of the Mission base in Lakeside, Montana. Where we as a family are going into the 10th week of our discipleship training school, or DTS as we call it. The DTS is a five month adventure with God where our focus is on knowing God and making him known in every nation on earth. Not just the comfortable ones, but only countries that are safe for families or Christians. Not just countries that are easy to travel to, but every nation, even the US. It's a very exciting place to live. Out of the 300 or so people living on our base, there are about 20 different nations represented here at the moment. In our hallway alone, we have people from as far away as Australia to Alabama, Cambodia, South Korea, Nepal, and even someone from right down the road here in Montana. So it's a real cultural awakening for many, but we all have one thing in common, one purpose, and that is Jesus. And the love we share is sweet, and the support we give one another could definitely only come from a God who is himself love. This is one of the happiest places on earth. But obviously, one can only stay in a place of understanding God for so long. Eventually, God wants us to experience him and get others to experience him too. We're sending five teams to South Africa, Thailand, Cambodia, Taiwan, and the Philippines and Andy and I, along with our two boys and 13 others, will be flying to the wintry island of Iceland and its capital city, Reykjavik. In Iceland, we will be involved in many different ministries there, including a coffee shop that some Christians are trying to get off the ground, teaching and discipling teenagers in the local churches on the island, and various forms of evangelism which could include everything from outdoor dances and dramas to handing out hot chocolate on cold nights and just building relationships in the community that we'll be living in for those two months. We believe we are called to be ambassadors of our King Jesus. So any way we can spread his light and share the testimonies of what he's done in our young lives, that is what our mission is about. And trust me, seeing just one person come to know Jesus and experience his love and freedom in their life it makes it all worth it. As of right now, we have less than three weeks before we leave for Iceland, and our family still owes about $4,100 to go and to complete our DTS. So if the Lord encourages you to give to this mission of ours, we'd love to see more of you come alongside us. And you can just talk to one of the mission's leaders in the church to find out how to give. Our hope is that it would never be just us who do the work, but that the entire church would get to take part both the challenges and the blessings of spreading the gospel and sharing the love of Jesus with the world at large. We feel that many are called to go and many are called to send, but few are called to do neither. So if any of these words stir up your hearts, I invite you to contact us and our other dear friends whom we've already sent out from Sphere Pines, or find someone in your midst who's wanting to go but just needs their help. You can find a little info about each of us on the missions table out in the lobby. For us, once we've completed our outreach phase of DTS, we will be able to join full-time staff with YWAM anywhere in the world. So we're hoping to get involved full-time with the same work we've been doing only part-time here in Montana for the last four years. We are co-leaders of TESOL at YWAM Montana. That's teaching English to speakers of other languages. TESOL is typically a one-month intensive course designed to train everyday people like you and me to teach English abroad. Our heart is to equip missionaries in foreign countries to be able to enter those hard to reach nations that are usually close to Christians, to obtain work permits so they can stay as long as they'd like in whichever nation God calls them, and to get paying jobs to help sustain their other ministries, 
and also to use their English classrooms as a practical way to build life-changing relationships with individuals and communities. Our vision is to take the Montana TESOL program to Asia and to mobilize the North American Church to go with us. And God's recently given us some fresh new insight into what that mobilization may look like. We felt like God told us to get involved with training DTS outreach teams by offering crash courses and teaching English to prepare and empower those heading into classrooms for the first time out on the mission field and also as a way to feed some of those newcoming missionaries into our TESOL programs around the world. God began showing us that vision two months ago and already just in the last few weeks we've been getting involved in these one-hour crash courses for DTS outreach teams heading out to Southeast Asia in December. We also saw a vision of a person throwing a ball into the air on one side of the planet, and then we saw ourselves on the far side of Earth catching that same ball, which wasn't just any ball, but it was really Christian missionaries, and then filtering them into different training programs. Different programs, but all for one purpose. Crash courses and equipping for ministry, perhaps starting with TESOL and then adding more as we went along. We saw a glimpse of ourselves working in a building and we looked very comfortable in the overseas environment. And although we've often embraced an adventurous, spirit-led, crazy existence, uh, we've even found more peace now to go and do those things, those big things that many have often called impractical, impossible, irresponsible, but what we see simply as Jesus written all over. What is that, Finn Finn? Yeah, Mason, look at your guys. Look at you guys, you got big snowballs. A few days ago, another piece of this picture was added. In the middle of a lecture, God spoke to me about a very specific idea, giving it a name, even showing me t-shirt designs and bumper stickers. The vision is of a small studio somewhere in America my hope is that it would be in Oakhurst. And in the studio there were a few computers and some cameras and audio video recording and editing equipment. Uh, it was a place where anyone from our local church with a heart for global missions could drop in and contribute to that global cause. Through recording audio, video podcasts, and Bible studies, uh, live sermon and worship feeds, ESL classes, and more. And just like the picture of the passing ball, there we would be catching those voices and sound bites and encrypted PDF files and using them to train and equip Christ Church on the far side of the planet. In places where hardly a Christian can enter, but where English teachers such as ourselves and any of you who are willing to come with us are still welcome to live. We see this as one of the unique ways that our friends, pastors, teachers, and others could be mobilized into missions, even from a small room right in their hometown, where they could still take part and join in the global pursuit to make God known across the planet. Many of us going and sending. Going and sending. Teaching and equipping. Just being, being used, used by, by God. God. And working together. together. If this stirs up something inside of you, if you'd like to join the mob and start something like that or if you'd like to become an English teacher slash missionary or if you'd just like to help send us to Iceland here in a few short weeks then I encourage you to pray and to give however God shows you to give. <laughs>